Hi, this is Brian Fogarty, and this is a video for chapter 14 of the book Quantitative Social Science Data with R, second edition. In this video, what we're going to do is check for excess zeros. So count data frequently has a lot of zeros, so zero counts. Um, we can have counts in our data. Um, the problem is that the Poisson regression model and negative binomial regression model are not great at handling uh, a situation where we have a lot of zeros. Um, that that's, it comes down to distributional assumptions. Um, so if we have a problem with too many zeros, excess zeros, uh, there's other options we can try, which, which we talk about later on in the chapter. Uh, these are zero inflated and hurdle count models. Um, so what we want to do here is uh, do a test for it. And so earlier we saw that there was a lot of zeros. I think it's roughly 25% uh, of, of the observations in the uh, variable article sites have zeros. So we might think automatically like, okay, that's that sounds like a lot of zeros, but we don't know if that's actually a problem or not. How we determine, or one way to determine if it's a problem, is we can compare the number of observed values, which are just like how many how many zeros um, are in the um, are are in our data. Okay, so the sorry the observed zeros versus the predicted zeros, and the predicted zeros are based on our model. So we can we can do this by hand if really um, some people do plots of it where they plot the number of observers predicted and see if there's a difference. Um, there's also an, a nice little function that is from the performance package. So we're going to load this package with library. So it's called performance. It has a whole bunch of stuff in it. Um, and we're going to use this function called check zero inflation. All right. So you do check zero inflation and then we include our saved model. So model NBRM. We're just checking the negative binomial because in the previous video, we saw that the negative binomial uh, model was preferred over the Poisson regression model. So that's why uh, we're not going to check the Poisson one. Okay, so let's highlight this and run it. Okay, so we see this as check for zero inflation, number of observed zeros, 81, number of predicted, 78, ratio, 96. So how do they get the ratio? It, it's just divided the predicted by the observed. Um, so again, we could do this by hand. If we have it, it just, this function puts it together quite nicely, right? So if we do 78, divided by 81, we have 96.3. Um, and then it has in here this little message, and, and it's in red, which again, I don't love because I guess I could change the default, right? This is this is the default environment in our studio. Um, model seems okay. Ratio of observed and predicted zeros is within the tolerance range. And the tolerance range is um, 5%. So if it's in that, then... Um, then we're good, at least according to this. Um, but it's, you know, it says seems okay. It's like, yeah, it's sort of right. 96% is pretty good, actually, I think. Um, so anyway, from this, what we can con conclude is that we, we probably don't have an excess zero problem with respect to the negative binomial regression model not being able to handle it. Um, if we had, you know, had a different conclusion, then then we would want to check out the zero inflated or, or hurdle models. Um, okay, that's it for this video. Just a quick one on checking about excess zeros. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.